Hello, this is Pastor Phil Vickers from First Lutheran in Mission Hills, Kansas. Today, uh, Tuesday, as I'm recording this, is the uh, the commemoration of a Justin Martyr, uh, who was an early uh, Christian apologist, as they as they title him, an apologist is someone who um, defends or or um, ar argues for uh, the validity of the Christian faith. Um, and he did this very profoundly in some writings that were left behind to us. And uh, one of the things that really jumps out from Justin Martyr's work is uh, his connection of uh, doctrine leading to uh, a change in lifestyle. Uh, he, he writes over and over again about how, uh, how life is different when you accept the, the tenets, the doctrines, the teachings of the Christian church. And one short quote highlighting that says, uh, he wrote, we used to hate and destroy one another and refused to associate with people of another race or country. Now, because of Christ, we live together with such people and pray for our enemies. That's just one uh, more famous example of uh, the countless times when he makes this point that what you believe um, should sort of uh, create the, the context, the bedrock for how you live your life. Um, and, you know, that sort of sounds like a, a, a truism, a, a no-duh statement, but uh, it's amazing how often um, that what we believe doesn't make it into our daily lives. We can say that we believe in Christ, that we believe we're all one in Christ, that we have unity in Christ, um, that being a Christian calls us to a certain uh, set of behaviors of how we treat each other, um, but it, it, it doesn't get lived out. And I really feel like... Um, our day and time is calling um, is calling for that for us to to realize uh, the ways we've fallen down on the job of allowing our beliefs to inform our daily lives and how we actually interact with others, um, and, and to have that change. I've been reading some neat books lately about the idea of resistance, uh, resistance being uh, that that force that wants us to keep everything the same. You know, we fall into a habit. And it's sort of hard to get out of it. It's like living in a rut, living in a track. Um, but when when that rut has become the fact that we're not living out our beliefs, that's going to be an extremely limiting thing in our lives. And, and you can imagine that. Try to make it. Uh, try to imagine it, uh, um, being someone else. What would you think of a person who held in their heart these beliefs uh, that they maybe even uh, thought that they were passionate about these beliefs that they truly. Uh, in their heart, thought that these things were true, but then because of simple habit or repetition of other things, those things never get lived out. You would have great pity upon a person who uh, carried with them a passion that was never uh, never saw fruition. But if you kind of turn the turn the camera on yourself, you'll see how that reality manifests itself in your life. It happens to all of us. Um, but that also gives us. Uh, what they call the compass, you know, where we where we find our resistance to uh, to changing to changing to allow those beliefs to really be lived out. When we run up against that, we we have our direction now. We know what we need to do. We need to get 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 to work um, of seeing how we start to manifest what is within us. And if that's faith in Christ leading to a change in uh, our behavior towards others, then there we have our our compass. We have our map. We have our direction. May you. Um, uh, be aware of the resistance in your life in these days, and may you be uh, willing to live out in true, real, concrete ways your faith in Jesus Christ to the honor and glory of the Father. Thank you.